Hello and welcome to this Corona Render tutorial on the fisheye lens. Now, what is a fisheye lens, you may be wondering? Essentially, it's an ultra wide angle lens that allows the camera to see much more of your scene whilst introducing that unique fisheye distortion. Fisheye lenses are a popular choice in exterior photography, allowing for stunning panoramic shots to be created. But they also in the useful interior scenes, allowing you to capture much more of your scene without having to go beyond the walls. So, how do we go about adding the fisheye lens effect to our camera? If you created your camera from the Corona menu up here, you already have a Corona camera tag applied. If you didn't, however, that's not a problem. I'll just delete this one. Then we can come over to Tags, Corona Tags, and Corona Camera Tag. Then we can scroll all the way to the bottom on the attributes and come down to Camera Projection. Then we're going to click Override. We can come on to our projection type and change it from spherical over to fisheye. Now, first up, you have field of view. It defaults to 180, then it goes all the way up to 360. And now we've changed that, you can see a much more extreme fisheye effect, and we can see much more around us as well. We can also put this down to, say, 45. And this takes us much closer into the room, and you don't really see any of that fisheye distortion. Let's just put this back up to 180 for now and have a look at the next important setting, which is the fisheye format. Now this defaults to circular, which is what you see here, but we've also got crop circle. But this really does what it says and it crops into the circle and your image now goes up the extents of the screen. It does leave you with these black triangles around the edges. So how do we change that? Well, we can now go to full framed. And this crops us in even further. So we change back to circular. You can see you're not seeing as much of your image now in full frame as compared to circular. So we're... So we are just cropping into that image to remove the black around the edges. The last setting on here is manual. Now, manual unlocks the focal length. And this essentially allows you to control those settings we were just looking at but do it yourself so we change this down we get the a much closer look to the circular image that we were looking at before but if we change this up we can start cropping in see so here our black triangles reintroduced and we go up to about 14 There we go, those are removed. So now we're back at a full framed look. Lastly, we have fisheye mapping. Fisheye mapping is one of the more technical parameters and it's beyond the scope of this tutorial to go into exactly how they work. But they do mimic real life lenses. And if you do want more information on it, type it into Google and there's a number of different resources that will explain things further. But as I say, things do get very technical. Let's jump back to Corona and have a look at how they work there. Now we find fisheye mapping right below our fisheye format. And by default, it is set to equidistant. Equidistant is one of the most common types of fisheye mapping and is practical for angle measurement. This is a full render of equidistant. So if we have a look at equisolid, which I'm going to compare to equidistant as our B image. Equidistant fully on and it was solid. You'll see that it just brings the center out just a little bit more. It does introduce slightly more distortion to the edges here.
Uh, we compare that again to author graphic. You can see now that our edges are highly distorted compared to our original render. But our center is much less distorted. And finally, we have stereographic. Now, if we look at stereographic, it doesn't compress the edges nearly as much as before. Especially when comparing to something like orthographic. Our chair looks pretty much representative of how we'd expect, and we're still getting this lovely wide angle effect. So that about wraps it up for our tutorial on fisheye mapping. Thank you very much for watching, and be sure to check out the other tutorials on our YouTube channel.